all this one on top uh moses bliss wife said no 500 million wig no makeup no jewelry no designer clothing no instagram cloud chasing just a girl chasing jesus and her career congratulations moses bliss ghana truly won nigerians Okay, Ghana truly won Nigerians in this one. Hmm, guys, guys, oh my goodness. Okay, and she continued, it's amusing how people get upset for no reason. I simply described Maria's personality and everyone seems tensed and bothered. This is exactly who she is. I never compared her to anyone. I'm just stating her obvious qualities. She didn't stop there. Well, everyone is entitled to their own understanding. Every woman is beautiful, but the qualities I mentioned describe Maria best. My last phrase is super accurate. Ghana won his heart. <laughs> oh my goodness. And netizens have really attacked her. Oh, this was said, is she a Ghanaian? Say yes. It's funny how upset people are about this now this person this one said no jesus body they said no jesus body zone here hmm, this one is really bad out on top of another person's wife can't you just say congratulations and move on you can't just congratulate them oh then swear for honor anyone stop you from uh, going no makeup or no earring class so let's continue Wanting the wig, jewelry, makeup, designer clothing, and other things doesn't mean she ain't chasing Jesus either. You can say your congratulations without putting other ladies down. This one said to everyone their choice. Married, married, no get templates. Okay, so um, if not her parents, would have made it then. To everyone their choice. Married, no get template like we make calm. If not, our parents may not have. Simplicity is still the game of the day. And this person said, I am of the opinion comparisons come from the place of insecurity. On a good day, whether she's Senegalese or Togolese, she doesn't have been brought to the table in the first place. Every man to his own whatever. Okay. So, um, in fact, more comments. More comments um this person said must you guys compare everything do you think it's her lack of wigs or makeup or jewelry that attracted him must everyone marry a pastor or a gospel singer the muse agenda swear for your papa <laughs> where are those girls who said they can't carry their natural hair they must be a wig to feel elegant and said she's truly beautiful and so are the other women who wear the above mentioned it's not a uh, competition this one said not every girl looking for a man of god or a gospel singer and what's all this long talk the lady is just perfect <laughs> this one said this is exactly the kind of woman i want you people will write sermon out of everything add cameroon pepper keep cooking he said uh share he's a nigerian one minus one oh Nigerian ladies are not ready for this conversation. This is beautiful. This is like between Nigerians now and Ghanaians. On top, Moses Bleed's wife. Oh. <laughs> On top, Moses Bleed's wife. Guys, the argument is that in fact, eh, this girl is really working for her Elon Musk money. Then this other person, okay, the kind of another person put it out. And she said, who said you can't have Jesus and have all those things? The comparison is not necessary. Besides, she has earrings and mild makeup on. Her dress is obviously not from the roadside. Every woman will do as it pleases her. So no unhealthy comparison. But why can't people just congratulate and celebrate someone without trying to compare? Almost everybody has their style and spec. No jewelry care. That study in her ears and cock. Do you know how much they cost? Her dress? You can actually praise her without bringing down people who are her opposites. As I said, she's pretty, but the right top, like, the right top isn't necessary. Um, there are other good-looking gospel ministers who wear wigs and jewelry, and they are happily married as well. Whoa, it's not even a competition in the first place. So, once we they know this, know that, uh, congratulate the couple and move on. When is your time? You can decide to go earring less and makeup less and whatever and this one said cook sees heartbreak for moses crushers on to the next one is our dear daddy apostle joshua selman <laughs> hey 
hey guys oh guys sorry welcome back to lovely Auto on youtube guys you guys know that um um moses please today proposed to his the love of his life and one thing about this relationship is that they actually met on instagram oh. so it's not like huh you guys know moses bliss of christ embassy Yes, now of course, you know, Christ Embassy now, the addressing and everything. Of course, he was always being featured in Christ Embassy's program. You know, ladies now, cute ladies, bone straight, blah, 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 you know, looking good. So at the end of the day, now look at his wife, natural hair, knee, no makeup, just very little earrings stored. See the gown she's putting on, no revealing gown, tight gown, all those stuff. Now, somebody have brought it to the social media, like, no 500 million naira wig, no this, no that, no that. And netizens are like, okay, she mentioned that it's like the girl is Ghanaian. He said Ghanaian won his heart. Like, Ghanaian, Ghanaian won Nigerians in this one. So, some persons are like, why the unhealthy comparison? Everybody's to their choice yeah no makeup no earrings of course she has earrings on she has stored on no makeup no earrings no this no that so you are like so some persons are saying what actually makes somebody a good wife is not about no earrings no makeup but seriously guys truth be told the lady is beautiful she's naturally beautiful her skin color is beautiful her everything about her her dentition her eyes her hair the natural hair i have to tell you guys the truth and me i love like my daughter doesn't have hope and i say i've said all oh, my dog girls are not going to have hope i love it when women are modest like I love it when women are modest. That is why there are some churches you see there are women hmm, very modest, no makeup, like natural hair. I love it so, 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 so much. I don't know why. Me, I'm just saying it personally. Okay. But choice differs. There are persons that are like bone straight, this one, makeup, looking good, looking flashy. But me, personally, I this kind of ladies, I love them so, 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 so much. Like modest like you know there are some churches now that maybe you know um they don't put on earrings some of this you see them wearing very long gowns and long you see some of their ladies eh? very pretty very beautiful i don't want to mention churches here but there are some churches where you see their ladies um it's mostly the natural hair no wig no this one no that one but <laughs> that doesn't rule out the fact that they don't wear expensive things though <laughs> they wear very expensive things even in all those they are decent gown that gown may be a designer's gown and if they tell you the price especially those of them that their parents are wealthy yes those of them that their parents are wealthy you just look at them like at least i know i know i know some and i've been to some of those churches where you know ladies are modest you see all those kids no earring no they look fine no makeup with their natural hair <laughs> um Maybe the kind of cream they use, the kind that hair now, this natural hair you're looking at. Maybe the kind of treatment she gets, that hair gets. <laughs> in fact, it's enough for you to buy one bone straight. So it's not like in no makeup, no this, no that. Yeah, she has been a Jesus person right from time. And if you guys really watched the proposal when she was talking, you know, she just she said lots of things. You know, how she was always praying, you know, and she always tell her mom that her man of God is coming. So to me, I feel it's just God. And they met on Instagram. It's not like, ah, she's been in my church. Like, I've known her. I know her family. I know how she... They met on Instagram. And boom, look at where they are today. And looking at them, looking at the proposal, you know that, mm, this one is really marriage made in heaven. And I must tell you guys, eh? I really love his choice. In fact, if I, both of them are just meant for each other, and the girl is truly, truly a Jesus baby. Seriously, seriously. If I know some ministers and I've seen their wives with their long braids, all this one, but this one, eh? If I, people are bringing Apostle Joshua Swimman into this, and hey, God, oh, in fact, eh, Apostle Joshua Swimman, they are saying the next is your wife. People can't wait to see the kind of woman Apostle Joshua Swimman is going to get married to, like you know hmm, staying for all these years like 
staying unmarried till now. People are like, hey, probably he hasn't met his match. So, but what really brought me here is this thing going on on social media space about comparison. I don't think the writer or the person that made this post did it to compare. She was like, you know... Can you imagine? It's not in all this. Uh, you're wearing your bones straight. You're looking. You're everybody's trying to be fair now. Everybody's trying to look this, look that. No, it's not in all that. Last, last, eh? <laughs> modesty wins. Seriously, last, last, modesty wins. And there is something, eh? When people are from wealthy home, forget about bone straight too. Forget that. It's just like some of all these big pastors. When you see their daughters, <laughs> they don't even do all those big, big makeup, all those stuff. So, but they look. Uh, only the thing that will be oozing out of their body like uh, the good smell they are eating good food <laughs> money is not their problem like people are saying this thought this girl is putting in her hair maybe diamond oh yes she's not wearing bone straight but maybe that thought is diamond maybe the cream alone that she uses maybe the kind of skincare and care she gets hair care skin care whatever so i don't think is when we talk about modesty eh, when people talk about modesty they say no bone straight she did no makeup no no no. someone might actually be using makeup cheap makeup that everything may not even be up to 2k and someone who is not makeup i mean if you look at those brows you can see that they are really well lined and well shaped so is she's not a makeup person but that doesn't mean she doesn't take care of herself she does very very well and it's got to be expensive, the way I'm looking at her. Yes. If you check some of these churches that don't do this thing, check some of the their members that are wealthy. If you see their kids, <laughs> the kind of clothes they put on, the kind of shoe, the kind of footwear, the kind of wristwatch they wear, the kind of thing. They are don't, no earrings or they don't have holes or nothing, but <laughs> everything they are wearing is money. So to me, I feel it's a thing of choice. It's a thing of choice. There are persons that naturally they don't like all those stuff makeup blah blah they just want to be natural team you have team natural and yeah they have team natural so there's no need for comparison there's no need for comparison is um mostly said is taken out of his ribs is he has met his match his heart trope is everything let's just believe that is ordained by god yeah, it's a perfect match made in heaven. And our prayer is just that the marriage should last, be blissful, be they should be happy. And the girl looks, she's always like, when she was talking, she was you know, all smiles. And and she looks quite expressive because she was just, I don't think she's a tight, the shy type. I think she's bold because she was just talking and talking and talking. So no need for comparison. She's beautiful. She's cute. She's everything she's modest and yeah she's a jesus girl so that's just it so you guys let me know what you feel in the comment about this most bliss wife and what they are just battling about someone else's wife let me just see you guys in the comment if you like if you enjoyed this make sure you like share and subscribe to my channel i don't even know what i'm saying it's like i'm feeling sleepy all right i'll see you guys in the next one bye